it's Amanda, founder of the Hinman Holistic Health Institute. And today I'm gonna to share with you two tips for creating change for your family that's gonna stick around, that's actually gonna last and have an improvement in the long-term health and happiness of your child and your whole entire family. And the key for these is two principles that have to be essential in order to make this, like I said, a sustainable change. The first is simplicity, right? So think of an analogy. Think of, and I've had this happen to me before. Think of when you have, you know, maybe one of your kids is trying to create a game that they want to play and they're thinking of it kind of off the top of their head and they're like well first you're gonna go here and then we have to change each other and then I want you to go down the stairs and go under the thing underneath the, the bed and crawl around here the more complex something is the more likely we are to tune out or to get distracted or get frustrated and, and, and give up so when you're creating a change for your family to improve your child's health it's got to be something simple that you can stick with and the second principle is it's got to be holistic, right? I made this, this mistake when I was first thinking about having a healthy balance and a healthy lifestyle for my family, I really focused on nutrition because that was an area that interested me and I had done a lot of work to study nutrition and to go to, GM, go to Monsanto to learn about GMOs and all sorts of things. So I focus on nutrition almost exclusively and yet then my daughter started having seizures. Well, the reality is I didn't look at all of these different areas of our lives and how we were living our lives on a daily basis a daily basis and how they contributed to overall health and happiness. And those areas in terms of a holistic approach are the nutrition that you put into your body. Obviously the way that you fuel your body is going to impact how it can function. Also the quality of the relationships in your family and in your child's life. Meaning do they feel truly understood and appreciated for who they are and as the relationship connection between siblings and between parents and child and, and other friends strong and authentic or is there a lot of frustration, underappreciation, disconnect. The third and fourth areas are kind of related to each other and this is the balance of downtime and activity. You know, a lot of us know that it's important to be physically mobile and, and be active and move our bodies, of course, and it's also equally important to have downtime. In other words, time that we're not overstimulated, even in terms of like our eyes being overstimulated, our noses, what we smell in our environment, our ears, the sound and the, the music and different distractions in our world. And finally, the fifth area in a holistic approach is to take a look at the beliefs that people have and the beliefs that you practice as a family, really meaning your mindset. So when you can come from a space of practicing and living by an attitude of gratitude, it has a huge, tremendous impact on your family and your child's overall health and happiness, their well-being. So the two strategies, once again, are to ha have simple, simple things that you can do consistently and to make sure you're looking at a holistic approach to supporting your child's health. Those two things, you put them together and you are, will be guaranteed to have a magnificent changes and improvements from where you are today and moving forward in a direction of where you wanna be. So please let us know what was most helpful for you. What do you find that maybe a new thought that you hadn't considered before, or maybe an area of your child's life that could use a little work? What is something that's going really well? We'd love to hear from you. Type into the comments below and we'll see you soon.